Greetings, everyone. This is Takeout of Doom here, and I am back with another uh, another passion project. Well, basically, another passion project episode. How to Minecraft? Zombie die. You are inferior. And we're back into we're back in the ravine for a little bit. I had to dig myself out. <laughs> last last episode. Last episode, we were mining ores and we found diamond. And also some gold as well, which is nice. The only thing better is if we found perhaps the rarest ore in Minecraft, Emerald. Emerald, if I find it, I will show it. I'll, uh, I'll let you all know. And we're, oh, more gold. Yeah, I explored the ravine a bit after at the end of that last episode while the video itself was uploading. So I managed to find a few more. I think I managed to find a few more thing ores. Like I realized there's a there's some diamond right there. Which we are going to go and get. Now I don't know why I have so much sand in my inventory. But eh, I'm too lazy to use sand. Often lava pools will be will be more than can often often lava pools will be more than a block deep. Okay, this one's only a block deep, so it's not an issue. Otherwise, if it's more than a block deep, you can, like, see, yep, more than a block deep. So you won't, so you either won't be able to place at the bottom of the lava pool, or you try to place a block, it'll just fall. Let's mine it up. Oof. Okay, that was slightly stupid. Minor, at least, minor act of stupidity right there. What I should have normally done is covered up, filled in these blocks so that the diamond didn't fall, but since it was right in front of me, more, like, there's at least a 95% chance it'll straight up go into my inventory before it hits lava. Just mine this iron, because you can never have enough iron. Iron is good for you. <laughs> so, for today's episode, we shall continue exploring the ravine. Attempting to see if we can find more ores. Might even teach. Might even go and try strip mining. In attempt to find more diamonds, as well as uh, maybe hopefully an emerald, a few emeralds as well. Because while the only emeralds really only have one use, without mods they only have one use really. But it'd be nice to have a few emeralds. In case you're wondering what that use is, it's trading with villagers. And there's a skeleton here. I'm just. I, I want to eat. Now, let's see. I believe I've already demonstrated this, but oh my god, skeletons! The farther you are away from them, they fire. The less often they fire, but as soon as you get close, they're eerily accurate. So much so that you'll. Ow! Okay, okay. Enough of me playing around. Yep. There we go. Yeah, okay, I shouldn't have been playing around as much. Basically, if you get close to skeletons, people often just call call them aimbot hackers, because despite the fact they fire more quickly, which should theoretically be inaccurate, they are somehow they somehow tend to hit you a lot at close range. Oh, one other thing you can do is... I forgot to mention this with a sword, and it, this is because it's 189 that you can perform this function. Otherwise, this would not be the case, because in 1.9 onwards, they created an item for it. You can block to reduce the amount of damage you take. Like, let the zombie hit me, and we'll see. Watch how much damage you take. One heart. I can block. Oh, look. It's not, It's occasionally even doing no damage at all. Often for things like for PvP, like you know, player versus player combat, one strategy, a strategy often people used to take, well, they'll still take it, is by because left click is to hit, right click is to block. To reduce which will reduce damage taken, I believe at the dur it'll, it'll still affect the durability of the weapon though. One strategy, one thing for PvP is basically they just spam left and right click repeatedly until it has you see the, until you see how the sword is moving in that weird manner. So it'd be block and attacking at the same time. So any receiving attacks should hopefully be blocked while you're attacking them. Just be spamming this at people. Okay, now this is painful. 
I might just try and quit. I don't know if I want to put a rail... I'm, I'm tempted to put a rail cart system. Or like a rail cart... A mine cart? No. Rail cart, sorry. Mine cart. I'm tempted to put like, you know, a rail with a mine cart down there just for it going up and down. Save me a lot of pain. Nonetheless, we have picked up a bit of iron and a bit of gold as well. Let's collect the old cooked up iron. Toss this in here. I don't even know where I kept them. And we'll just toss this rest of the stuff inside. On a side note, if you do hear anything, it's either people in the background or just music running through my headphones, because these headphones are loud even though I set the whole volume to 4%. Let's see. No. Sand. I have no need for sand. Diamonds. I shall keep these aside. Because they are the diamonds. Let's see, my armor durability is fine, but, I w but I'd want to craft... Yeah, I don't mind my teachers laughing in the background. Keep in mind I have to record this at school after all. Oh crap. Um This is not good. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six. Five, six, seven, one, two oh, okay, I placed it one too high. I tried placing them like seven a certain number number of blocks apart. However, I just did whatever and I didn't bother. Actually, let's see what day what ta let's see if it's a day outside. Ah, okay, that's a skeleton I've been hearing. And of course it's night turning day. Hey zombie hey Zambo. Yeah, hey, hey, you can't touch the can't touch me. Yet I can touch you. Uh, eat it. There's a spider up there, too. Oh, there's a spider. Hey, hey, spider. Especially in, like, indoors, in dark indoor places, spiders will tend to climb up walls. Because, if I didn't mention already, yes, spiders can climb up vertical surfaces. However, if there's, like, a block, like, they, so they could climb, they could try, they could climb straight up this wall. Although, they climb along the surface, and if there's a block up top, they'll just get stuck in the corner. Actually, like that one is. Well, let me demonstrate. Let's let's have a let's peek. Let's have a peek. Now look, look. It kind of it kind of climbed the surface. It's climbing. It's stuck in that corner. If I had a bow, I'd shoot at it maybe, but yeah, too lazy. I could make a bow, but I'm too lazy right now. More importantly. I'll use. I'm gonna use these tools until I'm gonna use these the tools I crafted, like the stone sword, until it breaks. But just in case it breaks at a crucial time, I don't want to get fudged over. So I'm just gonna craft a new backup. A new one has backup here. I'm gonna store the iron because I don't need it. Half the wood in case for emergencies. It's good to be prepared. And now, because why not? We're going hunting. It's night time, time to go mob hunting. Because XP is nice. Oh, hit that. And because why not? If I can get more, I want to get more gunpowder and arrows. Oh, oh, oh. Primary way of fighting creepers is hit and retreat. Although, usually, if you can get four, because with a stone sword, with a stone or iron sword, it takes four hits. Oh, if you, in case you're seeing the little sparkly effects, that means it's a critical hit which will deal extra damage. You'll deal critical hits if, if you hit them while they're falling. While you're falling. So like me just saying this like me just standing there walking around hitting him, not gonna do anything. Hit, critical hits will, will be delivered if I hit them while I'm falling down, per se. So basically if I, if I were to jump only after, only I'm on the second half when I'm falling towards the ground, would the critical hit be delivered? And if you think about it logically, the momentum of you falling is del is added to the force of your own strike. So, it makes sense in a, in a way. 
So for now, we're just going to be hunting around a little bit. Ah, one thing I know. Let's see. We didn't make an axe, did we? Be useful to cut more wood. Regardless, it's turning day. And soon all the undead mobs, well, mainly the skeletons and zombies, will start to burn. And the spiders will turn passive. Actually, let's climb up the mountain to see the morning the sunrise. The Minecraft sunrise. It's quite beautiful indeed. Truly, truly interesting. Another thing fun to see is the Minecraft sunset as well. Eh, apparently sunsets are anywhere you look are, eh, pretty good, if not beautiful. Let's see. Uh, I'll kill. I want to kill a squid. Any squid? Hello, any squids in here? No. Oh well then. Suppose, let's see, what to do, what to do. Right, I was going to go mining. Don't have too much time left, but... Oh, here you go, a squid. Come here, squid. No insects? Oh, you dropped an insect, thank you. Two, three, shall I? Let me see if I, I can crit hit a squid, I think. Oh, there you go. That's a critical hit. And... Two shot. If I had a damage... If I had damage indicator mod on, I, I, you could tell how much health they have left. Any sort of potion effects, and especially how much damage I deal as well. Hmm. Let's see. Crucial. I, I've run out of food. Let's see. I need to go hunt more cows. Or rather, it'd be nice if I could get a, get some in an enclosure and start breeding them. Oof. Oof, oof. Where is it? Huh. No cows to be found, eh? Oh, it's this. Another cave system. A lot of coal at the entrance. How far down does this go? Eh. It's a quick little jaunt. My, a creeper. Oh, wait. Hey, ah. Taken. Oh, this is an extensive cave system. This might even be linked up with the one underneath our house. Or, well, underneath the house, I should say. Oh. Eh, worst case, I'll just cheat. What a shame. Slash kill. <laughs> Thank God for keep inventory. Now, let's see. I only have about a minute left, so might as well get down to the shaft, the mine shaft, for next episode. I don't have food either, though, so it's gonna be tough. Actually, I'll go, I'll go collect food behind the scenes after the episode's over. For now, might as well head down. Or rather, head up. I want to see what's be behind here. Create a little staircase in case I get some uh, mob tries to shoot me off or something. Oh, iron. And a whole new addition to the cave. Fascinating. Well, I think I'll. I think we'll just will end. We'll end it off here then. Oh, okay. This well, we'll end it off here. Thank you for watching this episode, everyone, and please be sure to continue watching uh, the Passion Project series out of Minecraft, and like the video, like, share, and subscribe. Bye!